Your problem, Mr. Marchand, is that you're preoccupied with stereotypes. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten best Julie Andrews performances. As I expected, Mary Poppins practically perfect in every way. Well, I can type right forty words a minute. I'm in demand. You are awesome. You are the coolest queen ever. Oh, all in a day's work. For this list, we'll be looking at those times Dame Julie Andrews was the queen of the screen. We'll only be focusing on her film and television roles. Since the time she dazzled the Broadway stage could have a list all their own. If we missed any of your favorites, let us know in the comments below. Lots of coal making lots of it. Number 10, Lady Whistledown, Bridgerton. No matter how she appears, or doesn't, if there is a best Julie Andrews performance, we will uncover it. You do not know me, and rest assured, you never shall. But be forewarned, dear reader, I certainly know you. Andrews is, of course, known for her transcendent singing, but her speaking voice is in high demand as well. She's narrated a few things over the years, including 2007's Enchanted, but in 2020, she blew us all away with her work in Netflix's Bridgerton. For those not in attendance at the Vauxhall celebration, you missed the most remarkable coup of the season. Andrews voices the elusive Lady Whistledown, a mysterious gossip who runs her own newsletter and makes trouble for London's elite. Her voice work is wonderful. She's perfectly pompous, snide, cheeky, and sly all in one. A scribbling woman is the most canine. If that should be true, then this author would like to show you her teeth. Number 9. Lily Smith, Darling Lily If you like musicals and spy movies, this is the Julie Andrews performance for you. In this 1970 film, Andrews plays Lily Smith, a musical star who was actually a German spy during World War I. What else? That is top secret. So far, that's all. But he's planned a weekend in the country, and I'll contact you as soon as I have the information. The film presents a comedy of errors, with mistaken identities, romance, and everything else you'd expect. This is so important, I can't even tell you. It isn't that I don't trust you, it's just a matter of national security. The film was a bit of a commercial failure at the time, but watching it today, Andrews' performance simply bursts off the screen. It's a seductive romantic film, giving her the chance to show off chops she doesn't necessarily get to in many of her other movies. Seriously, is there anything this woman can't do? Number 8. Cinderella Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella While there are many roles Julie Andrews is known for, and beloved for, Cinderella was effectively written as a starring vehicle for the young star. Seriously, how many people can say a musical based on a literal Disney princess was written expressly with them in mind? Not many. Have you a strange feeling that something has just happened to you and you don't know what it is? Yes. That's exactly the way I feel. While Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella has had many iterations since, we're big fans of the Brandy and Whitney Houston version, watching Andrews in the role is a real treat. Am I making believe I see in you a man to perfect too? She's in her early 20s, and her fresh-faced excitement shines through in the performance. On the wheel. And the world will open its arms to me. This was an enormously popular TV event. It was watched by 107 million Americans, 60% of the country's population back then. Number 7. Queen Lillian, Shrek 2 This may not be the highest royal role for Dame Andrews on this list, but it's certainly one of our favorites. Following the events of the first movie, Princess Fiona takes Shrek and Donkey to meet her parents, the king and queen. Who on earth are they? I think that's our little girl. That's not little, that's a really big problem. Her father is voiced by the legend John Cleese, while her mother, Queen Lillian, is voiced by none other than Julie Andrews. 
This is Fiona's choice. Yes, but she was supposed to choose the prince we picked out for her. I mean, you expect me to give my blessings to this... this thing? Fiona does. And she'll never forgive you if you don't. The king and queen are quite surprised to see that their daughter is in love with an ogre. But Andrews is able to infuse her character with warmth and elegance, the perfect offset to Cleese's more disgusted king. I'm sorry, Lillian. I just wish I could be the man you deserve. You're more that man today than you ever were. Warts and all. Number 6. Queen Clarice Rinaldi, The Princess Diaries franchise. Julie Andrews as Queen Clarice? Shut up! Shut up! I beg your pardon? Shut up! Your Majesty, in America it doesn't always mean be quiet. Here it could mean wow, gee whiz, golly wallies. Oh, I, I understand. Thank you. The Princess Diaries books and movies are so important to a generation of young readers, and Andrews' role as Queen Clarice of Genovia is one of her best. As the elegant queen, she's able to bring her signature grace and sophistication to the role, as she teaches Anne Hathaway's Mia how to be a royal. When walking in a crowd, one is under scrutiny all the time. So we don't schlump like this. But in playing off Hathaway and bringing to life that age-old clash of young and old, Julie's able to let loose a bit and give us some of that fun grandma energy we always knew she had in her. You were awesome. You are the coolest queen ever. Ah, all in a day's work. Plus, getting to hear Julie Andrews sing again in the royal engagement would have been enough to make this role one of our all-time favorites. The most glorious part of you. Number 5. Millie Dillmount. Thoroughly modern Millie. Not only does she have a stunning voice, but she can dance, folks. Thoroughly Modern Millie follows the naive Millie Dillmount as she first arrives in the big city, hoping to find a wealthy husband for herself. Oh, I can typewrite 40 words a minute. I'm in demand. Besides, I'm only going to marry an eligible bachelor. You see, I'm going to marry my boss, whoever he may be. You're a modern! Thoroughly! Andrews stars as Millie and is easily able to bring sunshine and wide-eyed innocence to the role. I'm your equal. I'm going to meet you men on your own terms. Cater to your craving for efficiency. Learn to talk sports, tell jokes, smoke, drink, and yes, if I have to, I'll even kiss you back. Millie also serves as the perfect vehicle to show off Andrews' stellar dancing skills. Alongside Mary Tyler Moore as Miss Dorothy Brown, she taps and prances her way to musical movie notoriety. Our fave would have to be the elevator tap scene, but there are certainly plenty to choose from. Clever, aren't they? Number 4. Emily Barham – The Americanization of Emily This movie was a bit of a departure from the norm for Julie Andrews. You might not expect the woman who popularized songs like Spoonful of Sugar and Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious to star in a black-and-white dark comedy or romantic drama. But Andrews proved to be more than up to the task. I take these things badly. I fall in love too easily. And I shatter too easily. I don't want any more doomed men. Andrews plays Emily, an English woman who lost her father, brother, and husband in World War II, who falls in love with an American naval officer, perhaps against her better judgment. Don't show me how profitable it'll be to fall in love with you, Charlie. Don't Americanize me. Andrews handles the crackling dialogue and heavy themes with ease, proving to everyone that she truly can do it all. Perpetuating the very things you detest merely to do the right thing. Honestly, Charlie, your conversion to morality is really quite funny. All this time I've been terrified of becoming Americanized, and you, you silly ass, have turned into a bloody Englishman. Number 3. Victoria Grant and Count Victor Grzynski, Victor Victoria. God, what an inspiration. I'm gonna get a doctor. Victoria, it will work. Oh, Toddy, it if will you not. listen to me and do exactly as I say, in six weeks you'll be the toast of Paris and we will both be very rich. Oh. Definitely one of Andrews' most interesting roles to date, Victor Victoria follows the story of a young, down on her luck singer who finds success by masquerading as a man who masquerades as a woman for his act. Bear with us, we know it's all a bit confusing. I don't care if you are a man. I'm not a man. I still don't care. 
The premise itself calls for a bit of comedy, as different characters know different levels of Victoria's identity. But the movie is also filled with a lot of warmth and heart, and helmed by Andrews in an excellent, nuanced leading performance. Your problem, Mr. Marchand, is that you're preoccupied with stereotypes. I think it's as simple as you're one kind of man, I'm another. And what kind are you? One that doesn't have to prove it to myself or anyone. And of course, that iconic image of her in that fitted suit will live on forever. Number 2. Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins We all know that Mary Poppins is iconic in the best possible way. We don't have to tell you that. As I expected, Mary Poppins practically perfect in every way. But not only did this classic beloved film give us one of Julie Andrews' most enduring roles, it gave us one of the best Golden Globes acceptance speeches of all time. Finally, my thanks to a man who made a wonderful movie and who made all this possible in the first place, Mr. Jack Warner. Jack Warner, president of Warner Brothers, had decided not to cast Andrews in the My Fair Lady movie, even though she originated the role on Broadway, and cast Audrey Hepburn instead. We can't feel too bad for Julie Andrews, though. Things seem to have worked out just fine for her. She went on to win the Oscar, too. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in a most delightful way. Thanks again, Jack. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Gertrude Lawrence, star. The movie title says it all. She's a star. Poor Jenny, bright as a penny, her equal would be hard to find. Marlena Grew, Despicable Me, adds supervillain mom to the resume. I just wanted to congratulate you on stealing the pyramid. <sighs> that was you, wasn't it? Or was it a villain who's actually successful? <laughs> Samantha Taylor, 10. Don't you dare call Julie a broad. I, hey, hey, look, slang, derogatory, broad, okay? How about that, smartass? You want to look up derogatory? Sally Miles, SOB. Julie gets saucy. I've got to show my boobies. <laughs> what do you think, Irving? You've seen my boobies. Hmm, are they worth showing? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Maria, The Sound of Music It's hard to think about Julie Andrews and not immediately think of those first moments in The Sound of Music where she runs through the hills, singing at the top of her lungs and lighting up our screens with effusive joy. Filled with wondrous songs by Rodgers and Hammerstein, The Sound of Music is without a doubt Andrews' most memorable film to date. Besides which you see, I have confidence in me. In the role of Maria, Andrews is mesmerizing. She lights up the screen, shows off her amazing singing chops, and her chemistry with Captain Von Trapp played by the late, great Christopher Plummer, is palpable. Small and white, clean and bright, you look happy to be The hills are alive, indeed. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.